this is my 93 RX-7. I've had this car for a little over two years now. I've enjoyed every minute of it and it's been my daily driver. I actually found this car in a breaker's yard, believe it or not. Um, it was actually used as a donor car for the breaker yard show car, which they had on exhibit. Um, as soon as I went there, I went originally went there for car parts for my Mazda RX-7, uh, sorry, my Mazda MX-5. And I fell in love with it the minute I saw it, even in bits. And uh, to be honest, I offered to buy it from the scrapyard, and the guy didn't want to let me. They didn't want to uh, sell it. <laughs> he wanted to scrap it. Um, maybe about a few years later, I managed to track the car down again, and a friend of mine actually had the car. Didn't do anything to it, and I had to buy it off her. And then when I bought it, well, it was a little over two years ago, I set my own target to go on to Germany on the Nürburgring because I did book time in August uh, and it had the car to be done by then. As for modifications, uh, well there is quite a big thing different compared to other RX-7s. To those who have a very keen eye would have probably heard already the difference how the car turns over and how it starts up. In fact, I do start up. Yeah, it's got a 1JZ from a Toyota Chaser. Um, I originally started off with a 2JZ from a Lexus GS300, as at the time, that's all I could afford. And to be honest, the car went to Germany with the 2 JZ and performed flawlessly all the way there and back. My shall uh, get 9 minutes and 12 seconds on the Germany on the Nürburgring. Now that was going to my limit. The car could go more, but I didn't. But as I had to drive the car back to the UK, I didn't want to push it and get recovery truck because, yeah, that would have broke my heart. After I used it for a few months in the UK after after Nürburgring, uh, I did the original 2JZ did blow up. Uh, I was driving it quite spiritual, spiritually and hit a speed bump I did not see, and I completely destroyed it. So, luckily at the time I had this 1JZ in my garage that, I've been, that was building up for a little while. Uh, I built it up. Fitted everything to the car. Luckily, everything was interchangeable compared to the original engine that was in it. And here it is today. Power-wise, everything is completely stock, other than a, uh, a front mounted cooler, an induction kit, and a, a three-inch exhaust, a turbo back exhaust system. Um, so it's got the irregular 1JZ rumble. Um, other, other mods it's got, it's got some HSD monopro coilovers, uh, it's got a slightly stiffer spring rear on the front obviously because it is a, a heavier engine on the front rather than 13B which is a different weight usually um, and obviously you probably would have spotted I've got some sleeper headlights fitted and those were just stuff I've fabricated from all the projects I've actually got. <laughs> I also, uh, obviously all the big, big big work, as as you can tell, I'm not much of a muscular guy, so all the heavy work was done by me and my mates. Uh, so I want to thank my mates, uh, James Greenwood, Graham Bainbridge, and James Chin, and uh, and to be honest, the majority of the guys that managed to find parts for me as well, because I cannot thank them enough. from everything else it's just running standard ECU so I'd probably say it's running about 276 the gentleman's agreement uh, brake horsepower so it's still running in factory 7 to 9 psi uh, depending on what how cold the weather is um, and apart from that it seems to be shift really well I mean I did go through a problem where the rear differential did explode because RX-7s are meant to have torque and obviously apart from me the car has quite a lot of torque um, but yeah, apart from that, 
I did replace the diff for a stronger unit and everything seems to be fine.